Okay, so with the interbank market boiling over and the treasuries market also roiling today and the bond mark, bond auction on the street with the FX, where does that leave the stock markets? Chukumanyamu is joining us via Skype, head of research at GTI Securities, joining us live from the trading floor in downtown Lagos. Uh, Chuks, good morning. It's good to have you on the program. Now, with the treasury bills, the bond auction, interbank well above, running towards 200 percent, the stock market is likely going for another negative trading day. Yes or no? Absolutely, Bosin. Um, it's looking like another um, red uh, start to the market today. The market is currently down um, not point, um, not three percent, um, with major um, indices also down. I think. Currently, the, the only major indices that's positive is currently the um, industrials and insurance. Um, so, yeah, it's looking like we're going to have a red day today. Awesome. Well, I'm sure you stockbrokers, uh, stock traders also will be making phone calls to yourself and say, hey, how do we make money uh, in this? How do we survive this <laughs> liquidity crunch? Because it looks like you are, you, the FX is pulling here, the interbank is pulling it there, the treasury bills is pulling it here, you have the bond pulling everything here, and the stocks market, the stock market looks like the weeping boy. Uh, give us a sense of where do, where, where, what do you think is moving the industrials? Yesterday, yes, Lafarge Africa seemed to do that. So uh, let's talk about the industrials. Who is moving that? What stocks moving that uh, uh, subsector? Well, um, the biggest um, listed company is Dangote, and, and once there is any positive sentiment around that company, uh, the sector generally goes up, um, as well as the general market. So positive sentiment around that sector will probably be driven by the likes of um, Dangote, and, and like you pointed out yesterday, Lafarge. But the thing is, um, Bosin, I think, uh, considering the fact that we still have um, a lot of buildings to to go down infrastructure development to go down in, in this economy i think if, if you look at it critically it will be one of the uh, sectors that investors will want to pay a lot of attention to uh, and that of construction as well it's surprising also that we've not seen any upside any major upside in, in banking um, it seems to have gotten positive sentiment around um, um, trading with investors, you know, but currently it's, it's, it's down. Um, I, I hope before the market trades um, runs out today, we'll, we'll see um, optimism coming back into the market. But currently, as we speak, I think a lot of the investors are just focusing on where there are value. Um, and I think Dangote, um, Cement, and, and maybe a few other players in the industrial space um, have that value that investors are looking for. Oh, okay, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, Chukumaya, well, a very short, sharp, and incisive uh, insight into today's trading. Thank you very much from GTI Securities, Head of Research. The market, as you heard, is about 0.3% in the red. That's the Osher Index as we start today's midweek session. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you again next time. Do have a great day. Uh, we have two days left in the week. We have a lot of economic and market data to chew. Put it on our Twitter. Let's keep the conversation going. Bye for now.